here we are, one of the world's leading metallurgical uh, company who understands materials, metallurgy, how to make a forging very well. Why can't we make a gun? In Sweden, uh, we have a factory uh, that produces uh, forged components for the Swedish uh, or the Scandinavian uh, and European automotive industry, largely commercial vehicles, companies like Volvo, Scania, uh, uh, people like that, Mercedes. Uh, and within about uh, one and a half kilometers of our plant was the Beauforts plant. So when I went there and had a look at what they were doing, and you know, it just suddenly struck me that here we are, one of the world's leading metallurgical uh, company who understands materials, metallurgy, how to make a forging very well. Why can't we make a gun? And the idea really got incubated at that time because of my connections with uh, Sweden, having a plant in Sweden. And then uh, we had some young engineers in our company in those days. Uh, I put a couple of them on the job. I said, we want to make a gun. So let's at least uh, you know, find out what a gun looks like. So we got a prototype of a gun from uh, a company in Europe. Through the whole process, we had to go and get a license from the defense ministry, etc. And uh, it took time, but we got through that process. And then we got the gun here. When we look at the gun, we said, you know, this is what we can make, this is what we can make, this is a forging. So I said, you know, we should be making a gun. So we put a target that 2012, when the Defense Expo was going to take place in Delhi, we will showcase our Indian-made gun. We had called it that time uh, Bharat 52. So we made a gun, uh, our own gun, with our own components, and we showcased it. 